Brothers and sisters in Islam, Bani Israel, the children of Israel, are wandering in the desert for 40 years. They lost the way. Today, inshallah, I would like to share with you a story that a whole chapter in the Quran was named after it, Surah Al-Baqarah. There was a man, a very, very wealthy man. He passed away and he left one son, just one son. And this one son, he inherited everything. So the cousins were quite jealous and they murdered him. And they hid his body somewhere else. Nobody knows who killed this man. Bani Israel started quarreling with one another to figure out who killed the man. Then they said, why should we quarrel when we have someone who speaks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Musa alayhi salam, let's go and ask him to find a solution for us. So they went to Musa alayhi salam. They said, look, we need to know the murderer of this person. It's causing a big problem. It is splitting people, splitting communities. This is what is happening. It's causing a rift in the family and what have you. So Musa alayhi salam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one day he comes back to his people and he says, oh, my people, Allah has solved your problem. He wants you to sacrifice a cow. You sacrifice a cow and then you will see Allah will release the name of whoever was the murderer. Bani Israel immediately they responded said, Are you mocking us Musa? Mocking Allah and his ayat and his messengers is kufr, is disbelief. They are accusing Musa of that. And that is why he said, I seek refuge with Allah to be amongst the ignorance. Obviously, I agree. There is no relationship between the crime and the slaughtering of a cow. It does not fit together. But who is commanding here? Allah. So there must be a wisdom. So why should I wear my hijab? Why should I pray five times? There must be a wisdom. So these people, Rasulullah says, Shaddadu fashaddad Allahu alayhi. They didn't obey the instruction. They wanted to make life difficult. So Allah made it more difficult for them. This is why when we are given instruction, obey it. Here is the second question. They told Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, there are many cows out there. So many cows out there. We are confused. Make dua to Allah to inform us a little bit more detail. What type of a cow does he want? He says it should neither be old nor young, some, something in between and do what you've been ordered. Follow the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your issue will be made easy. Now they seen the cows. They had a category of cows. So the older were removed from their minds and the young were also removed and they had this middle category of cows. They went back to Musa alayhi salam. Yeah, Musa, the middle category of cows are too many. So tell us what's the color of this cow? Make dua to Allah. Let him tell us what's the color of the cow. So Musa alayhi salam made dua again. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you want to know the color? It is a rich yellow color that attracts the attention of the people and is cool to the eye. It makes the people who look at it happy. So it's a rich yellow color. Something, let's say more golden, a golden color of a cow. So mashallah, they started looking. They found quite a few. So they went to Musa alayhi salam. Ya Musa, we've got a problem. We don't know which one exactly to slaughter. So now you tell us, make dua to Allah to tell us a little bit more detail. And inshallah, we will be guided. What happened? Allah made it very difficult for them. Allah says, it must be a cow that was neither prepared to till the land nor prepared to be used for irrigation. It must be perfect without a spot on it. No mark, nothing. Now it became very hard. They started hunting for the cow. They told Musa alayhi salam, now you've come with something that is understandable. So they went around, they started hunting for the cow. They found one cow, one cow belonging to someone. What had happened and whose cow was this? There was a man, it is reported, who passed away. And he left behind a widow and an orphan. And he had made a dua prior to passing away. Ya Allah, I'm dying at this age. I'm leaving my wife and child. Ya Allah, I leave them in your care. You look after them. What did he have? He only had one calf, a little calf. So he instructed his wife before he passed away, take this calf and release it into the forest because I don't trust these people. If they know that they are weak people, they will usurp the wealth. Like what happens today. So this man, as he left his cow, it was a calf. Allah had protected the calf that it was grazing on its own and anyone went near it, it would make sure that it went away. It didn't allow anyone to touch it. No one. Until one day when the boy grew a little bit older, the mother said, look, your dad has left a cow and it's in the forest somewhere. Go and look for it. How am I going to look for it? Anyway, as he went, 
there was only one cow that came to him. And when it came to him, at that time, people were looking for exactly the same cow. So they went to him and they told the young man, we want to buy this cow. It fitted everything that Musa alayhi salam was told. So he said, look, I can't sell it. I need to speak to my mother. He went to the mother. They were talking about a price and they were speaking. And then the mother said, look, how can you sell it? We don't want to sell it at all. Until the boy says, okay, finally, I'll settle for the skin of this cow filled with gold. Give it to me. They said, no problem. MashaAllah, what an expensive cow. So they slaughtered the cow. Allah says, and remember when the person was murdered and you were debating and arguing as to who murdered that particular person, we instructed you to take a chunk of the meat from this cow and strike with it the dead man. And when he was struck, he came up alive after he had died. And he said the name of the person who murdered him and he died again. This is in the Quran. Allah says, this is how Allah gives life to the dead. And this is what had happened. And thereafter, the problem was solved.